the three octave minor scale. So this is a long scale, as opposed to scales that travel across the neck like this in Thalage. We're going to go down the neck in a sort of scale of doom, covering lots of area. Um, this starts around the position that your position one blues scale pentatonic box starts in and finishes right up down by position four. So it covers a lot of the scale neck. Um, it's a really good sort of transport network for carrying you around the fretboard. Uh, I like to use it and drop off every so often and play a couple of licks in the position and then jump up a bit more. Um, the emphasis in this scale is through movement with the little finger. So this is a great exercise for legato, for training strength on the little finger and for insane shreddage. So we'll start with the fifth fret E string, this is an A note, and we're going to pick that note. We're then going to slide the first finger a tone, so I'm going from the fifth fret all the way up to the seventh fret. Now I would pick when I land on the seventh fret so that you'd get this. Two picks. I'm then going to place my second finger on the eighth fret and pick that one and then I'm going to put my little finger on the uh, tenth fret and pick that one. So you get this so far. Now you notice I've left each of these fingers down when I've placed them on the fretboard. That's very important for legato because what we're doing is we're saying that if I wanted to go backwards all I have to do is pull a finger off and I've gone backwards. Uh, if, you, if you place a finger and then lift it up like this, you're failing heinously because you have to put them back on again before you pull off. And that's movement and that's time. And time's money to a guy like me. So, this formation of first finger, second finger and little finger is what I call the minor shape. It just, it's useful to have a name for a formation of fingers. And this formation we're now going to apply on the A string. So I take my first finger down to the A string and I play first, second, and little there. So you get. So I only took my fingers off when I changed string. And that was quite important. So, so far from the beginning, we've got this. I'm using um, economy picking here. I'm starting with a down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's the majority of it's just going to be alternate until we get to a certain point when we're going to be we're going to be doing a couple of downs in a row, which is the economy section. So here's the part we use a little finger. We're going to take this little finger, tenth fret A, and we're going to slide it a tone to the twelfth fret. Now, common issues, problems around this are that you'll find you're pushing too hard with your thumb on the back of the neck, and as you slide your little finger across, your thumb will stick in place and you get this like splayed hand, crazy looking thing. So pay attention to your thumb, don't press too hard, you don't have to press hard anyway, it's just a mental thing really, it's just there to stable you. So when you slide with a little finger, take the whole hand along move the whole hand, don't just move the little finger, that won't work. So, from here we're going to bring the first finger down to the D string, ninth fret, and we're going to play the minor shape again. So we're going to go 9, 10, 12, down a string again, 9, 10, 12, so that's the G string play. We're then going to slide with the little finger again a tone. So I'm on the 14th fret. Now here's the place where you get the jump in position because of the tuning with the B string. So we're going to go B string 12th fret and here we play the minor shape again. So 12, 13, 15. And then apply that to the E string. So 12, 13, 15. And to finish it, slide a tone. So in summation, what we have is a slide a minor shape, a minor shape, a slide, a minor shape, a minor shape, a slide, a minor shape, a minor shape, and a slide. So there's a pattern here, and once you spot a pattern, they're great to exploit to make musical, and uh, this is something I'm, I'm liking to do all the time. So here's how the whole scale sounds, and then I'm going to give you a close-up. And if you're going 
backwards, you lead with the little finger. So you start with the little finger, slide it. And when it comes to changing string, you bring the little finger over, slide it. So a whole circle of the three octave minor would be like this. And if I'm starting on an A, then the intervallics line up to give you A natural minor, or just the good old fashioned minor scale. Uh, you may hear this being referred to as the Aeolian mode, uh, which is what we call it. So here's a close up for you. So starting with my first finger on the A note, which is the fifth fret E string, I'm gonna scale nice and slow, uh, three octave minor scale. <laughs> scale where your alternate picking will have to become economy picking to maintain the flow so that you don't jump over a string to pick up or jump above a string to pick down um, and it's kind of the middle section I'll, I'll talk you through the picking as I scale so we've got down up down up down up down up down up down down so when I'm at the 12th fret D string with my little finger, I've picked down. I'm going down a string anyway, so I'll pick down again. Just makes sense. Then I go up, down, up, down, up, down. That's the 15th fret B string, and then they'll fall down again on the E string 12. So the idea is that it just avoids picking down, going down and over a string to pick up. That's a waste of time and movement. So the two economy picked places are the 12th fret D string, where you pick down, go down a string to the G string, and the 15th fret B. Genius. Three octave minor scale for the win.